आईपीओ की ट्रेन अब प्लेटफॉर्म नंबर एक से प्रस्थान कर चुकी है Oh shit अलॉटमेंट बैडली I'm sure you did not get an allotment for that, right? And you'll be like, "Hi, Ray, very putty way, kismat." So, don't worry. When people change, what is the kismat? Wow, 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 wow. Not bad. Okay, but if you want to wait for your kismat to change, or if you want to keep on singing, "Apna time aayega," so it's your choice. Or if you want to learn about a strategy that I follow to apply for IPOs and uh, something beyond that as well, then check out the full video. Now let's try and understand the two possible scenarios after you apply for an IPO. Right? Two possible scenarios by two brothers, Chandu and his bandhu. Oh, okay. So Chandu is smiling. Why? Because he has gotten the allotment. Now, if he has gotten the allotment, he has two possible options. Kya Chandu? Kya karna? So possibility number one is that he might sell the shares that he has got uh, in the IPO process. He might sell it on the listing day itself, right? So he is looking for what? He is looking for listing gains, right? And possibility number two, what he can think of is hold it for a long term because he believes that the share that I have purchased is not from a short term. I want to stay invested in the company from a long term perspective, right? And here we have Mr. His Bandhu. Who has not got the allotment? So he's feeling very sad, and he's he's into that category. Hi, Ramiri Puti Week is my category. This one, okay. He has gotten the feeling of missing the train. But today I have a suggestion for both of these, and the same suggestion for you all. What can be a suggestion? What can be a strategy for IPOs? Is what we are going to discuss in the coming parts of the video. Now this Excel sheet contains the list of all those companies that I have covered on the channel. So thirty IPOs to be precise, out of fifteen fifty one IPOs, as on the date of shoot. So it might be possible that there could be IPOs which are missing out in this video, but which have listed after the date of my shoot, right? So first, let's understand a scenario where someone applied only for listing gains, and what which were the top gainers on the listing day. The very first one was Paras with one seventy eight percent listing day gain, followed by Indigo, then Nike. then mtar and then was nureka now which were the ones which got very poor listing the lowest one was paytm with minus 18% then kalyan jewelers uh, windlass anupam and irfc but all in all if you consider out of 30 companies 24 companies have seen a listing day gain by the way how have i calculated this listing day gain if you see here i have neither considered the listing open price because not everyone might not be able to sell at that price nor have i considered the listing closing price i've just taken an average of listing open plus listing close right now if someone might have applied with an intention to keep it from a longer term perspective so let's try and understand the current gains as i shoot the video so this is basically the gains uh, a current day price minus the issue price okay so if i were to go about this again same thing you can see I, i'll just sort it one more time from largest to smallest here you can see again paras which had gotten a 178% listing day gain as on date this has 329.97 percentage oh my god that's amazing mtar with 277% year to date return okay till date return then uh, nureka is like 274% lakshmi organics with 237% and barbecue nation is 206% return as on date okay as i shoot the video what about the ones which did not see a good listing uh, so th- sorry which did which are not performing good as on date post listing we are talking about okay windlass minus 33% return krishna 23% minus returns kalyan jewelers with minus 18% return paytm with minus 16% return and antony waste with almost 5% loss as on date okay but still if i consider how many of them are not performing well from uh, f- 
from this comparatively longer term perspective these are again six companies out of 30 companies that we have discussed till date but here what is the strategy now strategy is very important have a look at this one now these were the two companies which saw a bad listing which two companies craftsman and anupam rasayan if you can see here listing day they were down by almost three and a half and four and a half percent respectively but if you are talking about gains till date from listing date till, from issue price till date then craftsman is at 56 percent plus return and anupam is at 46 percent plus returns so what is the strategy here important listen there could be a scenario that company is fundamentally really strong but on the listing day because of bad market conditions the ipo doesn't perform well on listing day but if you are looking at that specific stock from a longer term perspective don't sell it in panic hold on to your nerves and believe in your conviction hold on to a longer term that is the way you can make more and more gains. I want you all to tell me in the comment section, which was that stock which got listed somewhere around in March 2020. You know the reason why markets fell. But today, if you see, that stock has made enough, a decent gain. Now, what if I don't get the allotment? Still, is there any chance that I can make decent enough gains? Wait, wait, wait. Before I move on to that, I would really like to tell you that the YouTube memberships which has started in January 2020, we are completing two successful years every single month. I have discussed one stock in absolute detail. We have talked about the fundamentals, technicals, valuations, everything. And all these stocks, this basket of 25 stocks have delivered more than 30% returns in spite of the downfall that we saw wherein Nifty moved from 18,600 levels to almost 17,600 levels. So uh, what, what's so special about this? What am I going to do is this December, 10th of December at 9 p.m., I'm going to do a live stream wherein I'm going to disclose my portfolio. I'm going to talk about six stocks out of the 25 stocks that I've discussed for pro investors, which I hold in my portfolio and I intend to keep it for a longer term. So if you want to know about all these stocks in detail, then don't forget to join in on 10th of December at 9 p.m. And if you have still not joined the YouTube memberships, just click that join button. And now let's come to the important strategy where you had applied for a share, but you did not get the allotment. I'm sure you have uh, definitely seen that scene from Three Idiots. That when a friend fails, it's a big pain. But when a friend first comes and we fail, it's a big pain. So it's exactly that's what happens. When you and your friend applies for the IPO, both don't get the allotment, you are sad. But if he gets the allotment, and if you don't get the allotment, it's a lot of pain. But then, is there any strategy? Is there any way out? Answer is obviously yes. Okay. Now what you have to do, if you applied for the share, you have to write down. Why did you apply for that share? Had you applied it only for listing day or had you applied it for a long term? Had you applied it only for listing day, gone. No chance. Finish. End of the story. Right. But if you are applying it from a longer term perspective, then what could have been a simple strategy? You could have purchased the share immediately after listing. Wasn't that allowed? Yes. Now question is how much? Possibility number one, you could have purchased for that amount which you had bid for the IPO. Simple example, generally you bid for somewhere around 14,000 to 15,000 rupees. That generally is the value for one lot. Correct? So one could have invested entire 14, 15,000 immediately after listing. Possibility number one. Possibility number two, but if that person feels that, oh, if the IPO euphoria comes down, then the share might cool off a little bit then you could go ahead with a one-third, one-third, one-third strategy. Or if you want to be more conservative, one could have gone ahead with a one-fifth, 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 one-fifth strategy when post-listing. Okay, so that is the way you can enter into a share which you really wanted to enter into, but you did not get the allotment. Has this strategy worked in 2021? For that, we need statistics, right? So let's have a look at this Excel sheet. Okay, now if you see, we are on scenario two, gains if bought at listing day. Now, uh, possibility number one, can you get it exactly immediately the first tick of listing? Ideally, no. Or number two, exactly the closing price? No. So what I have done again? Again, I have taken the average listing price, open plus close divided by two. Okay. So now let us understand that if I sort it from largest to smallest. So ideally, all these shares, so just as an example, barbecue nation or something like an 
I think MTR was the one which everyone wanted the most, but it got madly oversubscribed. Very few people got it, and they might be like still in dard. But if some person might have invested on day one of listing today, that person might have been enjoying a gain of hundred and nine point two four percent when post listing also. Okay, now have a look at this barbecue nation post listing. If one could have purchased on that same day till date. He must have been sitting on a gains of 182 percent. Lakshmi Organics 160 percent. Nureka 129 percent. Stuffcraft and uh, Mta. So all in all, if you see one, two, three, four, five, six, six shares are 100 percent plus returns when from day one of listing till date, as I showed the video. Right now, were there any bad points also? Yes. So for example, there are how many shares? One, two, three, four, five, six again. All these out of what thirty, which we have covered on the channel, which have delivered more than ten percent losses. So, if some person might have purchased on day one of listing, could have been sitting in losses. But what is the maximum loss? That is twenty eight percent. Okay, that was that is for Anthony West. And what is the highest gain? That's hundred and eighty two point six eight percent. So, I want you all to tell me in the comment section which share was the one for which you did not get the allotment and you are still crying. Versus any person who has applied and not received it, but has entered on listing day and is happy with the current gains. Now let's talk about a very interesting fact: the company is Indigo Paints. Now, if some person had applied for the IPO and assume he got the allotment, okay, what could have been the scenario? The listing day gains would have been ninety two point one five percent for that person. Okay, now assume that the person might have said that, but I I want to wait for a longer term perspective. I believe in the company from the long term thing, right? In that case, the person might have gotten a percentage return of fifty one percent from what to what from issue price till current day gains. Okay, now the last scenario. Assume that the person might not have got the allotment in Indigo Paints only, and assume that he he might have purchased on the day one of listing. Average listing price, right? Till date, what might have happened? He might have been in twenty one point four two percent loss. Okay. Now the big question is, what happened with this company? Was it a nonsense company? Was it a fundamentally strong company? No, no, no. This is not a bad company. I have done an IPO review for this. You would surely do go and check out that video. But then, what is the problem? What's going on with this company? One major reason is the crude oil prices. Okay. If you want uh, to know more about this company, of course, let me know in the comment section. I can make a separate follow up video on this company as well right moving on with other interesting facts like uh, barbecue nation nureka sona blw and stuff crafts i had said that given a choice i might not apply for these ipos and i did not apply for these ipos why if you remember at one point in time there were so many ipos which were rushing in the markets okay and because of which if some person had limited funds then he might not have been able to apply for all and if you remember in those cases i had given a ranking That first, I will apply for this. If I have more funds, then I would go ahead with the second, then with the third. Okay, so depending on availability of funds. So uh, all these shares which I talked about, Barbecue, Nureka, Sona BLW, and Stuffcraft have given amazing returns, even if they were bought on listing day. So please don't tell me in the comment section, Rachna, tu jamo le paise na miyaale and all that. This was just my thought process, and also given the fact. that if a person had limited funds right so this was all in all about few companies which saw some amazing facts some amazing results post listing as well now with all these details in your hand let me tell you what is my strategy while analyzing or while applying for any ipo right step number 1 i try to analyze the company i try to check what is the business model what are their products what are the fundamentals what is the industry outlook all these things i'll check out from the rhp if you want to do that what is the simple thing just check out my ipo analysis video right you'll get to know about all these things number 1 number 2 just before the closing window of the ipo that is on the last day of the 3 days window i do check what is the gmp that is the gray market premium and i also check what is the subscription status for that if you don't want to take special effort to check that then you can always see my live stream which i do on will i apply for this xyz share or not okay so with all these things in my mind i then finalize that whether i'm going to apply for this ipo for a short term perspective only for listing gains or am i going to go with a application from a longer term perspective okay if it's only for short term then i give more importance to gmp 
and to the subscription status. But if I were to go for a longer term perspective, I give importance to all, including its fundamentals, industry outlook, products, everything, right? Now, what could be the scenarios if I go ahead for long term? Scenario one, I get the allotment. Very good. I'll stay invested. Scenario two, I don't get the allotment. In that case, what will I do? I, I might go ahead and buy the shares on the listing day. I have shown you the entire analysis for 2021 in the previous sections of the video, right? So you can think about a similar strategy. Only thing is that if you are going to hold it for a longer term, then you should keep a regular track of the results of the company, uh, any news that are coming on, on uh, about the company. Are they doing any product addition? Is there any capacity expansion or not? So all these news you have to keep track of. And if, if required, you may think about buying on dips as well. So finally, I would like to tell you that don't blindly invest in any IPO just because your friend is investing. Always do your own research and then take your final decision. There have been certain IPOs like Paytm which have burned the hands of a lot of investors. And finally, remember that it's always better to have a loss of profit rather than actually losing out your money. So if you want to know more about how I analyze IPOs, that's where you can click. If you want to know more about my pro investor special videos, just have a look at this and click on this. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.